And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 9th. Today sees two tropical depressions active over in the eastern Pacific, those being Sandra and Terry, which are both weakening as they head away from land. It is worth noting that there is absolutely nothing of tropical storm strength or higher active anywhere in the world on this 312th day of the year. So far, 87 storms have formed so far this year, be meaning we are five away from the yearly average. Starting off with the Atlantic on day 161 of hurricane season, there is an area of interest moving out to sea with a pretty much near zero chance of formation. Uh, we do not expect this system to last for that much longer. Over in the East Pacific on day 177 of hurricane season, we see two tropical depressions, those being Sandra and Terry, quarry, quarrel, quarreling like an old married couple in this part of the world. Over in the West Pacific, it's all quiet here as the previous invests are now nowhere to be found, leaving absolutely nothing active in this part of the world. Jumping into the North Indian Ocean, we have two invests. The first one on the left of side of your screen there being Invest 90A, which remains with a 20% chance of formation over in the Arabian Sea. The other one on the right side of your screen there is Invest 91B, which remains with a 40% chance of formation in five days over in the Bay of Bengal. We will be keeping an eye on this system closely closely. Over in the South Indian Ocean, no activity is present here, granted that we are only nine days into the Southern Hemisphere season at this point in time. In the Australian region, it's a similar story here. Nothing is active as the tropics in this area are still warming up. Yet again, nothing is active here in the South Pacific as it, it, is, it is too early in the season. Then again, we are nine days into it for development. Looking at the satellite imagery starting off in the Atlantic, the, new, the near, excuse me, 0% uh, area of interest that we have marked is still technically there, but we do not expect this system to form, hence the near zero chance. So this system should harmlessly move out to see where it will dissipate. Tropical depressions Sandra and Terry are battling it out over in the Eastern Pacific. They are both weakened from tropical storm status. Uh, neither are expected to reform into a tropical storm as they both head westward harmlessly out to sea. The West Pacific right now is really just a mess of clouds with nothing tropical active right about now. It is also worth noting that there is not a lot of thunderstorm activity ongoing in this part of the world as well. You can see 98 to the very far left of your screen there just hanging out in the Arabian Sea with its 20% chance of formation. We also have 91B in the Bay of Bengal moving northwestwards with its 40% chance of formation in five days. As the sun rises over in the Australian region, we see nothing active in this part of the world as to be expected, as like I keep mentioning, it is only nine days into cyclone season in this part of the world. It's a similar story again in the South Pacific as cyclone season is only nine days old, so we are still waiting on everything to warm up here. Here's a closer look at Tropical Depression Sandra, which is currently at 15.5 degrees north and 117.5 degrees west, with a wind speed of 35 miles an hour and a central pressure of 1,008 millibars. Sandra is expected to continue moving westwards out to sea, weakening as it does so, and thus has no CDPS rating as it will not be affecting land. This system is forecast to dissipate in 36 hours from the time of this broadcast. 
And here is a closer look at Tropical Depression Terry, which is currently located at 10.5 degrees north, 108 degrees west, with a wind speed, like Sandra, of 35 miles per hour. But it has a central pressure one millibar lower than Sandra, placing it at 1,007, excuse me, millibars, not 107, 1,007 millibars. Terry is expected to last quite a bit longer than Sandra as a tropical depression, but like Sandra, it is expected to move westwards harmlessly out to sea and dissipate, also giving it no CDPS rating. Sea surface temperatures starting off this time with the West Pacific still remains largely at 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. The Bay of Bengal registering 28 to 29 degrees. Those temperatures also extending into the Arabian Sea, right where 90A and 91B are. The tropical Atlantic is cooling down with temperatures of 28 and pockets of 29 degrees. The Gulf of Mexico, however, looks to be cooling down quite a lot with temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius in the far north of the Gulf of Mexico. The tropical eastern Pacific and parts of the central Pacific still remain roughly around 28 degrees Celsius. However, the subtropical east Pacific is still registering low to mid 20s and possibly the high teens. It is also worth noting that the southern hemisphere is warming up, getting ready for cyclone season for the 2021 to 2022 cyclone season. Sea surface temperature anomalies starting off this time with the Eastern Pacific, the area from Baja California all the way down to Hawaii and by extension past Hawaii remains cooler than average. The La Nina is still remains in full swing. The Atlantic is pretty much above average apart from isolated pockets of below average in the subtropical Atlantic. The Western Pacific is still remains largely warmer than average. However, some areas just off the coast of Japan have cooler than average temperatures. The North Indian Ocean pretty much at pretty much all at or above average. The Southern Indian Ocean still remains mostly above. However, the waters off of Western Australia are currently a mixture of above and below average. And the South Pacific is pretty much half above and half below due to the La Nina that is in effect right now. The on this day for yesterday marks eight years since Super Typhoon Haiyan, Filipino name Yolanda, made a catastrophic landfall in the Philippines, practically annihilating the city of Tacloban and also ending the lives of over 6,000 people. Also active was Tropical Depression uh, ARB01 and the remnants of 30W, which was just about to cross over into the Bay of Bengal and be renamed to BOB05. Six years and one day later, Cyclone Bulbul made, made a significant landfall in West Bengal as a Category 1 equivalent cyclone after peaking yesterday as a Category 3 equivalent system. Also active was Tropical Storm Nakri, Filipino name Quiel, in the South China Sea. And that brings us over to the naming lists. Up next in the Atlantic it is the start of the auxiliary list with Adria followed by Braylon. Up next in the East Pacific is Vivian followed by Waldo. Hopefully we won't be saying where's Waldo anytime soon. Up next in the Central Pacific, well, we might, like I just mentioned, we might be saying where's Waldo. We are still asking ourselves where the hell is Hone? Up next in the West Pacific on list four is Nieto followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian is Jawad followed by Asani. Up next in the Australian region is Paddy followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Anna followed by Batsirai. And finally up next in the South Pacific is Cody followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.